one to two inches at Mobile, which you believe it's now accumulating at Gulf Shores in southern Baldwin County. Again, that's a sign of the tremendous dynamics in this storm. Some late reports down here in South Alabama, Wilcox County, uh, with six inches on the ground. Uh, roads are closed all across uh, the area from Montgomery over to Selma, Demopolis, and Linden, and Camden. And of course, in our area, everything is shut down. The Birmingham airport is closed. All interstates are closed. You can look at this metro map. Uh, Interstate 59, 20, 459, and 65, it's all closed. In fact, all roads within the five county areas surrounding Birmingham are closed. In this large snow area, we have thunder, thunder snowstorms. Again, something you rarely see in Birmingham. In fact, uh, just there as we were speaking, we heard a large clap of thunder representing what's going on. And uh, for many of you, you are in the dark. We have thousands and thousands of folks with no electricity right now because of the wind and because of the heavy, wet snow. Uh, we'll be your friend. We'll be here and we'll get through this thing together. Uh, listen to us on your battery powered. All right, James, thanks very much. Continuing to watch this very, very dynamic snowstorm. The winds blowing in excess of 50 miles per hour. In fact, we have a new record, uh, a new high wind gust to show you on our uh, instrument panel here. Wind high 58 miles per hour at 147 this morning. Just about uh, 10 minutes ago, a wind gust here on top of Red Mountain to 58 miles per hour. Very dynamic storm. The winds will continue to howl all night long, but for single level homes, make some effort during the day tomorrow or to this morning to get that snow off of your roof. We're probably going to see some roofs collapsing in the Birmingham area, so do make every effort to get that snow off of the roof, and we do thank John for calling in that tip. James, we'll go back to you now. Okay, Kevin, thank you uh, very much. Let's look at the radar composite. Now, this composites all of the National Weather Service radar sites together, and uh, just dawned on me that I don't have any shoes on, but that's okay. It's early in the morning, and you'll excuse me. Here's the back edge of the heavy snow. This is the Alabama-Mississippi state line ferocious thunderstorms. Now, here's the satellite view. This is a classic. And down in here in the warm sector, we've had some violent tornadoes. Many of you have noticed the thunder snow we have. Uh, that's a sign of the dynamics of the storm, the lift potential creating thunderstorms when the temperatures are at freezing. Uh, thunder, lightning, and snow together. It's happened before, but not very often, but it did happen at Mobile. Mobile's never had a thunder snowstorm until tonight. The first time we have 8 to 12 inch potential here in the Birmingham area and areas north and east. And again, I, we can uh, scratch that 12 and put 16 on there. 8 to 16 inch snows. Many of you will see over one foot. I mean, this, this could, in fact, probably will be the largest snow on record in the city of Birmingham. Uh, by the time snow is falling on the sandy beaches at Gulf Shores, what that's going to do now is this thing, as the uh, storm system goes across Georgia, it's going to start to take a uh, turn to the left and go up the east coast of the United States. That's going to bring much, and I mean much, much colder air down from the north into Alabama for uh, Sunday night into Monday morning and uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. We'll likely see lows in the lower teens and possibly even approaching the single uh, Alabama and uh, northwest Florida Gulf Coast. Some uh, snow accumulations being reported on the beach there. Again, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Saturday morning as this major winter storm continues across North Alabama. I'm James Spann. It looks like it's about uh, 3 07. We're glad you're with us. Many of you staying up with us throughout this uh, winter storm, listening for updates and uh, uh, this has been one to talk about. Again, we've been looking at the maps and talking about this for days, but uh, now that it's here, it's uh, uh, almost hard to describe. Blizzard conditions continue across much of North Alabama. We've seen winds gusting to 58 uh, miles per hour here. That happened uh, earlier this morning. The snow continues to fall. Snow will exceed one foot in many areas. And now for the first time, we have some video of what's been going on uh, out there. And uh, let's see, we have one of our photographers, I think, on the telephone with us right now. And uh, let's see, is this, uh, is this Jeff with me now? Jeff, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, uh, James. Jeff, uh, uh, we've got the raw tape in house. And what I'm going to do is just let you describe the pictures we're about to see, Darren. If so if you can roll that videotape, uh, we'll take a look at it. And Jeff, I'll let you describe it. What are we looking at here? Okay, here we go. Uh, this is this was taken on uh, Montclair Road in uh, Mountain Brook, and there, these are power uh, power company Alabama Power Company crews trying to restore power to some some people and residents that you know are without power this uh, this evening and early morning. Uh, what they had done was they had turned off 
collapsed this one line so that they could restore power to uh, Montclair Hospital. This is what the uh, Alabama uh, power people told us about the scene there. And they had turned it back on to restore some residents' power. Um, but they wanted to keep the hospital, you know, primarily on in case of emergencies and things like that. Um, this is right now, it's just some more of the power company, uh, the crews they're out. Um, the wind, uh, the wind and the, uh, the snow is just, it's incredible. Uh, you can, you know, you get out of your truck like that guy is doing and, and you'll be standing in almost up to your knees in the snow. Sometimes it is up to your knees. This is, uh, this was on Offord Avenue. Huge. This is another power company, uh, guy that we ran into. We almost got stuck up on, uh, Shade Mountain. And, um, we having fun? you know, he, he was out, uh, trying to restore some power and this tree was in the way. Uh, he attempted to, uh, you know, remove the tree and eventually he did. Uh, so Offord Avenue right now is passable. Uh, well, you know, within reason. I mean, the snow is just incredible, especially up there. It's, it's real bad. Jeff, how long were you up there on Alford Avenue? Well, I went up on Alford Avenue and then I got stuck. And so I decided to go down towards Oxmoor Road down the hill uh, another way. And I, I ended up being uh, in this area and a tree had just fallen like right in front of the car. And um, what you're seeing now is on Shades Crest Road. Some guys, um, had gotten their car stuck and there you see a lot of people even even after 12 o'clock tonight i saw a lot of people out there on this is the intersection i think of valley avenue and green springs and uh you can see really how how much snow has fallen and how much snow is falling uh there's a lightning flash some of that uh that thunder snow that y'all have been talking about earlier if you uh watch closely you can see some of it on there yeah, you know, th this is uh, very much, uh, it's almost like some of the hurricanes I've been in. We we've basically been inside uh, in a safe, warm place with electricity, and we we've glanced out the window at times, but uh, really we haven't felt the brunt of the storm, and uh, you've been out there in it. Uh, now, as I understand it, you, you, you could not get back up on Red Mountain, is that right? Yeah, uh, I tried to get up there. I'm in my four-wheel drive. I tried to get up on Red Mountain. Uh you know, to deliver this tape up there and everything and, and to get a little dry because to tell you the truth, I'm sopping wet right now. But um, I couldn't get up there, so I had to go to our uh, our location where we can feed the tape back uh, via microwave. But, um, yeah, it was Red Mountain. You know, there was nobody around. There was no street lights, no nothing. And I had the window down uh, in the car, and I could hear trees popping in the distance. You know, and I thought at any moment, you know, a tree was going to crash in front of the truck or on on the truck or whatever. And I drove up on a on a tree that had just fallen, and uh, I could not get around it because there was a huge ravine on one side and then uh, a, uh, you know a smaller ditch on the other, and it was the tree was actually you know blocking the road. I even tried to go over the tree and, and could not go over it, and so I had to back back up the hill, and it was a pretty steep hill, and. Um, uh, for a good long while there, I didn't know if I was going to get out of that or not. Do you notice a lot of neighborhoods with no power? What you would do, uh, right there, as you just saw, there was a flash of that uh, lightning. But what you would do, you would, I would drive through neighborhoods, and, uh, you know, the, the lightning would actually, it actually would kind of like strike, like during a thunderstorm during the summertime. But you wouldn't see the lightning. You would just hear, the, you, there was this, you know, incredible flash that turned it into daytime almost. And then you would see like street lights and people's lights in their houses will flash and they would go dark for a second. The whole area would go dark. You couldn't see anything. And um, and then all of a sudden the lights would come back on. So, you know, there are a lot of areas that are dark. Uh, you know, I think the guys, you know, from the Alabama Power are out there trying to restore as much as they can. Right here on this, this is the intersection right that's on Valley Avenue right by uh, Wendy's and Arby's, and in just a few seconds, you're going to see a really pr a pretty big lightning flash, I think. Yeah, you know, you know Jeff, I, I've, uh, I'm a native Alabamian. I've lived here uh, uh, all my life except for a couple of years away in Dallas, and I've never seen anything like this. I, I can, you know, you, you tell me that that's Valley Avenue there, and I can barely recognize that because the snow is so heavy. I'm, I, exactly, there There was the flash right there of the lightning, and it, it struck very close to me. Uh, I'm standing right where I'm shooting at is only, I'm at the stoplight there. I'm right underneath the stoplight at the intersection. I'm not sure the name of the road. It goes up to Beacon Parkway and uh, Valley Avenue, and there's uh, 